What's up YouTube and welcome to a brand new video and tutorial. Today we are talking about a very simple but effective way to bring some action to your videos, especially music videos. So let's head right into it. My name is Eric, I do Final Cut 10 Pro tutorials and free plugins, so guys, please smash that sub button down there so we can hang out a bit more often in the future. That will be awesome. That was awkward. It was like I can't really blink, whatever. Now, screen pumping is a very effective way to draw some attention to your music and bring action into your videos. Today I will show you how to do this manually and of course I got a free plugin for you guys if you are lazy just like me. So first search for the bass hit where you want the effect to happen. Create a marker by pressing M on your keyboard. Now take an adjustment layer. Now if you don't have an adjustment layer I link you one in the description absolutely for free of course. Crop that adjustment layer and push it over the marker. Create a marker on the same spot by hitting M again so we don't have to look down and look up again and um, of course it's handy to have the marker on that spot so you can cop. We will see later. Smash the keyframe button, make sure your cursor is on the marker and push the scale up to 120%. Of course you can go higher or lower, depends on the effect you want to happen. Let's go forward by pressing the arrow key, let's say two frames and bring the scale back to 100%. Now go backward and do the same. If you want to add some more shake and dramatic stuff to your effect, type in earthquake into the search bar for effects. Smash that onto the adjustment layer and bring the amount down to 0%. Now hit the keyframe button move to the marker and bring it up and move to the end and bring it back to zero. Now you can copy this wherever you want the effect to happen. If you don't want to follow these steps every single time you use this effect, simply download my plugin from the link in the description, smash that into your motion templates titles folder because it comes as a titles overlay. Restart Final Cut Pro and now you can find the effects in your titles browser. It comes with two different effects. One is for bass lines and one is for short hits like snares and whatever. Those effects are completely customizable so you can adjust the effect on your needs. The drop on the bass is at the very start so just drop it exactly where the bass starts. For the second short one, the drop is somewhere in the middle, so first find the drop by searching where the image is on the maximum size. Hit the letter M to create a marker and move it to the snare. Now simply copy those effects wherever you want to place them and you're good to go. As I mentioned before, my name is Eric, I do Final Cut 10 Pro tutorials and free plugins, so check out all my other videos. If you haven't already, smash that sub button down there right now. I mean, right now, like immediately do it right now. Eric out, see you in the next one.